Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, we're going to be looking at one of the PowerShell team's graphical tools modules. So they actually have two modules in this graphical tools repository. They have the graphical tools module and then the console GUI tools module. Today we're going to be looking at the console GUI tools module, and it provides an a console-based GUI experience based on terminal.gui, uh, also called GUI CS. And the idea is that it actually creates this, um, the, the only command that it has right now is the out console grid view, and that allows you to create a grid view um, inside the console itself. So this works uh, on any platform, and it's supported on PowerShell 6 and up because it requires PowerShell or .NET Core. So uh, we're going to look at some examples of what you can do with out console grid view. So I have the out or uh, the GUI tools module or console GUI tools module installed already. So let's take a quick look at what we can do with this commandlet. So I'm going to look at get process and then I'm going to pipe it to out console grid view. And that is going to create this grid view directly in my console. And you can do some cool stuff in here. If I hit tab, um, I can actually filter things. So I can type up in this filter uh, text box up here. So that'll filter by uh, the process name in this case. And then I can use uh, the up and down arrow keys to select different items inside this uh, grid view. And if I hit space, it'll mark those items. And then if I hit enter, what it's going to do, it's going to return the items that I selected inside that grid view. So it's actually going to put those onto the PowerShell pipeline. And then you could actually pipe those to other commands and that kind of thing. Um, so then you can also do things such as this. So if I were to store uh, a bunch of uh, process objects inside a p variable. What I could then do is pipe that to out console grid view. Uh, one difference with the command that I'm making here is that I've changed the output mode to single. And what that does is rather than being able to select multiple items, now I can only select a single item inside the console grid view. So depending on what the kind of tool you're building, uh, this might be a handy way to go. So now if I hit enter, it's going to return that single item that I selected. Uh, another handy little trick, uh, this really isn't related to out console grid view, but just kind of piping in general, is you can actually uh, assign a variable and pipe to out console grid view at the same time. So on the left hand side here, I'm calling get child item with the path of PS home and the recurse parameter, and then I'm storing it in the A variable. So it's going to store that those items in there, and then I'm also going to pipe that to out console grid view. So if we run that, you'll see I have all the uh, different files that are underneath my PS home directory. Uh, now, um, if I didn't want to actually select anything, I can just click escape to get out of the out console grid view. Um, one cool thing about um, pretty much uh, out console grid view is it's good for creating tools. So here's an example of a function that will kill a process and um, the idea being you could type kill p, the process name, and then uh, it's going to filter the out console grid view based on that process name, and then it will stop that process uh, after you select it. So it's kind of just a simple example of um, creating a tool. So let's actually open, if I can type, notepad. Um, so I have a notepad process running. And now if I write kill p and notepad, You'll see that it's opened out console grid view, it's filtered um, down to the notepad process, and it's in single mode or single item mode selection. So now I select that notepad and hit enter, and you'll see that the notepad uh, actually was uh, stopped. Um, one complex example that um, they actually provide on the, um, the repository is actually the ability to uh, create a pretty much an F7 key handler for PS readline that allows you to pipe the output of your history directly to uh, out console grid view. So I actually have this hooked up. I'll show the code in a second. But if I press F7, it's actually going to open up my command line history here. And you'll see that I have all the commands that I actually typed uh, inside this PowerShell session. Uh, if I hit Shift uh, F7, they've actually set it up so that it'll show all the commands that I've actually run um, in all pro PowerShell sessions, pretty much. So you'll see that I have a whole bunch of other things that I've run inside my um, command line history here. So if we pop into my uh, PS profile, um, maybe I should uh, go to my profile instead, not my PS profile. Um, 
you're going to see here that uh, pretty much the way that works is they've defined a function called uh, OCGV history. And uh, what that does is it sets up two different um, PS read line handlers. So we have one for F7, which shows the current processes uh, pretty much out or history in the out console grid view. And it, they also set up the shift F7, which shows the history for all PowerShell instances using out grid view. So it's just kind of a neat way to uh, kind of showcase what you can do with out grid view and kind of how you can hook it into PS read line. So in this video, we took a look at the uh, console GUI tools by the PowerShell team. So definitely check that out and the out console grid view. Um, there's definitely other cool things that could happen with GUI CS because it provides all kinds of cool things that you can do with um, pretty much uh, UI interfaces inside terminals. So this works in all kinds of places, as you can imagine. So if you like more videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel.